Well, well, well. You've probably seen a lot of these emerging on YouTube lately. I'll save you the time. Season 4 is going to be fucking lit. And you know it, baby. There. I saved you a good 20 minutes. Now let's dive straight into the good stuff. All the new sick loot. Because there's two reasons we're playing this game. First being this. And second being doing Big Damn. And for doing Big Damn, we need sick loot. We'll start by checking out some new affixes. Then we will see how we actually use these affixes by abusing the tempering system and finish off by creating the sickest loot possible using masterworking. If all of these words sound like mumbo jumbo, don't worry. Just whip out your pecker and relax because I've got you covered, fam. For good measure, I'll also throw in some build predictions in the end. Firstly, Blizz absolutely gutted all the dog shit affixes in the game. So say goodbye to these and hello to these. You can also say goodbye to this. Bruh. And say hello that to if this. If you salvage this legendary, it will upgrade an aspect in the Codex of Power when you salvage it. That's right. So you no longer need to go to the occultist to extract aspects in Correct. any way. Because aspect crystals are no longer a thing in this new version of the mm -hmm. Codex of Power. Yeah, aspect crystals are gone. It's just when you salvage the legendary, it will upgrade it. So we salvage it, we can see that Edgemaster's aspect has been upgraded in the Codex of Power. So we go to our Codex of Power and let's go take a look. Um, so we've got Edgemaster's aspect here. Yeah, that's right. You can now put all of your affixes in the Codex of Power where they belong. Now, this is where things get interesting, though. Not only are they gutting the shitty affixes, but they're also adding a bunch of new ones, it seems. These are the ones that I found in the campfire chat. These manuals is what you'll be using in the tempering system, which we will look at later. My favorite one is this one. Like, come on, bros, you need to admit that this looks sick. The affix actually changes how the spells work. Just imagine this one, for example. You will be able to put this into the tempering system and imprint it onto your weapon. You're then going to be able to upgrade it. Now imagine stacking a ton of cooldown reduction. What's going to happen then, you may think? You're goddamn right. Potential permanent bone storms. This will definitely spice up the build variety a bit. All right, now let's check out how to make the sickest loot possible. First thing you're going to want to do to get the sickest loot is to get to World Tier 4 and fight mobs that are over level 95 ASAP. They're always going to drop item level 925 loot, so there's an incentive to start blasting higher level mobs as you're leveling. You're also going to want legendaries, because rares will suck ass. When you've found an item that doesn't stink, for example an item with greater affixes, you're going to want to start tempering it. If you're wondering what greater affixes is, it's basically an item with higher rolls than usual. Shout out to Last Epic here. You'll be able to get it on all of your legendaries, even your uber uniques. But Mr. Paragaming, doesn't this mean that I'll have to farm uber uniques whole season long now? Well, yes. But you'll also be able to get uber uniques easier in season 4, so that's neat. Now, to temper the item, you need to find these manuals, which drops from most content in the game. You'll then go to the blacksmith and start adding these manuals to your items. You'll do it with two affixes, and then you can start re-rolling them to get the one you want until your forging potential, I mean durability, runs out. All right, so that's tempering. You should now have something like this. An item with five affixes, where hopefully some of them are greater affixes. To boost the item further, you want to start upgrading it. This is called masterworking now, and it's way more interesting than upgrading item before. To be able to masterworking, you'll also have to do the new endgame activity, the pit. You'll then find materials such as these, and can start masterworking. Here is an item that's been upgraded via masterworking. It can be done 12 times, and they simply upgrade your item stats. Now here's what's interesting though. You see these colored stats? There's a bit of RNG involved here, because every fourth upgrade you do will upgrade one of the affixes more than usual. Instead of upgrading this affix 5% at a time, you'll get 25%. 
Okay, so that sounds cool and all, but what does this actually mean? I'll tell you what the hell it means. It means that you can stack a ton of your favorite stat. For a lot of gamers, that could be cooldown reduction. For example, on a Shaco, you can get 23% cooldown reduction. What the hell, right? Shout out to Rob here for this calculation, because I'm hungover and can't count for shit currently. Now imagine you get cooldown reduction maxed out on both helmet and amulet, and perhaps even some of the new cooldown reduction affixes. You're going to be able to spam that ability non-stop. New builds incoming? You bet. Talking about builds, what could they look like in Season 4? Well, firstly, before there were a tons of affixes and flat damage multipliers that were dog. Blizz is trying to fix this by making all of these scale with weapon damage instead. They used Lightning Storm, for example, but also talked a lot about Dust Devils becoming viable. We'll see about that, but we could possibly see these being insane and also mixing up the meta. I've listed a few flat damage increases here, but there's a ton more. If this also applies to Doombringer, for example, then that could possibly just nuke the entire screen. Since you'll be able to stack specific stats, I'm also thinking that ultimates could become more viable. This is due to cooldown reduction being stackable. Just imagine Wrath of the Berserker for Barbarians being up permanently, for example. Yummers. Or perhaps Grizzly Rage for Druids like it used to be before. Is there any builds that you think could become insane in Season 4? Let me know, because I'll be blasting the PTR and theory crafting. Perhaps we'll even be able to test out this sick new Uber Unique, a defensive Uber Unique that is also an artillery shrine? Yeah, that's pretty sick, and that is what I like to see. That and titties. With all of these overpowered affixes, buffs, and crafting, however, the damage in this game is going to scale massively. You know me, I'm a brain-dead barbarian enjoyer. We already know that barbarians are getting nerfs to Hota and Charge, but the question is if that's enough. We haven't heard about this yet, but we could see Overpower being nerfed. Or at least it should be. Currently, we have Barbarians hitting for billions with Halter and Charge. And at the same time, we have Rogues hitting for billions as well. But this is mainly due to Overpower being too strong. I'd much rather see them scaling down Overpower than nerfing the classes honestly, because we can't really have Increase scaling with barbarians and rogues hitting the fat guy for 10 billion while sorks are trying to tickle the guy to death. Or perhaps we just tell sorks to fuck off and stay in the gauntlet where they belong. Yeah, I said it. Take your balls elsewhere because endgame is for barbarians, only Lamau. Well, that's all for me. Stay shredded, kings, and I'll see you in the next one.